The Ultime Trimaran Gitana 18 has been launched. We take a look at the time lapse of the build, some of the radical differences in the design, and the unique artwork which will make this yacht truly stand out. Over the past two years at CDK Technologies on the west coast of France, the most advanced offshore sailing yacht ever built has been taking shape. At 32 metres long, 22 metres wide, 38 metres high, and with 50,000 hours of design and study, 200,000 man hours of construction by the 200 people involved in the project, the new Maxi Edmund de Rothschild Trimaran will be capable of pushing the 24 hour record, which currently stands at 907.7 .7 nautical miles, to over 1,000 nautical miles, which would be averaging close to 42 knots. Named Jutana 18, this Ultime Trimaran is a radical departure from the existing generation of offshore leviathans. Utilising adaptations of technologies we've seen in the smaller America's Cup, Sail GP, and even the International Moth designs, and scaling them for use in the world of offshore trimarans. No expense has been spared, and all the knowledge and experience of the Gitana and Team Verdier design offices, combined with C3 technologies for the rudders, Refranchi making the foils, Southern Spars building the mast and boom, Hark and Deck hardware, and North Sails have come together to make this extraordinary yacht. Speed gains of 10 to 15% are expected, and skipper Charles Quadrelier is aiming for perfect flight in up to 3 metre waves. On every front, Jutana 18 will take offshore sailing to another level. Let's take a look at some of the differences on Gitana 18. Under the waterline of the central hull is a T-foil centreboard, nearly 5 metres deep, with a foil span of 3 metres. With the first of three U-shaped rudders at the back, with the central rudder on a hinge to lift it out of the water. The port and starboard hulls also have this unique U-shaped rudder, each with a height of 4 metres and foil span of 2 metres all equipped with trim tabs for steering and ride height control. The port and starboard rudders lift vertically. The port and starboard hull's Y-foils look very much like those on the America's Cup AC75 monohulls, but pivot from the inboard side of the hull, having a span of over 10 metres, and foils nearly 2.5 metres wide. Moving to the rig, the mast has spreaders which can be raked back while sailing to modify the power of the mainsail, a first at this scale. And then there is the stunning artwork by Florian and Michel Kisteber, designed to complement and work in harmony with the radical technology. Thank you for watching today. We'll continue to bring you news of Shatana 18 and its first sale, so please do subscribe to this channel using the button down here, and take a look at sailworld.com and yachtsandyachting.com for all the latest news from the world of sailing.